Hello, my name is Matt and today I will show you how to paint Storm Knight from the Kingdom Death. Whole process can be a little bit overwhelming, so I decide to divide it into few parts. In part 1 I will cover the whole airbrushing process and some of the basic preparations before the main paint job. I started the work having the original artwork in mind and you will see how far from that I will finish. I started the work with no particular plan how to achieve the effect I wanted. So there is a lot of going back and forth in the airbrush process and I probably could do it a little bit faster than that but I had no plan so that's how it looks. With airbrushing I completely ignored the armor, I just wanted to make the clouds look the best way possible. And the first thing to do is just to cover the clouds with turquoise. By the way I just noticed that I probably uh, screw up some of the assembly work because not every little cloud a bit is in the proper place but we will roll with that. There is one small thing to remember, when I uh, say highlight in the context of airbrushing, I mean the spraying from the top down, and when I'm saying the shadow, I usually mean uh, spraying from the bottom up, so that's the main difference. It will be a little bit different in the context of a uh, regular brush, because there is a lot of different techniques you can use. For highlighting and other stuff but in the airbrushing that's main two terms I will be using all the time and there it goes the first highlight as I'd say before I knew where I want to go but I didn't really knew how to get there so I just picked up the most obvious next step after the base layer and I tried to do my best and see how it will look on the model
I use the white just to get the higher contrast but it won't be no near the final effect it will be like seven layers of highlights with the different colors and the final one will be white but at this point I just wanted to like see how it would look without anything else and that's how your work will look without a plan I would probably cut the time of the paint job in half if I had one And now it's the time to add some of the storm to the equation because at this point he looked like the sunny day sky and now I just wanted to make it a little bit darker but in the end I wanted to make it much much darker just I didn't want to go overboard at the very beginning After the last step I knew I'm going in the right direction so I decided to use the plain black for the for the effect I want to achieve and the effect is uh, I wanted to make the model brighter when it's closer to the armor and darker when it goes far away from the from the armor and the tips of the uh, cloud effects should be much darker than the ones that are very close to the model and of course I didn't got it right at the first time but it will get closer to the way I want it
after last step I decide that I lost some of the blue color of the on the model and I thought I will go back to the first step and try to redo some of the work I had at the beginning mm, and this layer la this layer is much more thinner so I want to just just even out the color without covering everything I did before it's a little bit like the glazing with regular brush so you don't want to put the even thick layer just change the color of the already existing uh, layers of the paint <laughs> I hope it makes sense And there is another attempt at getting higher contrast so I just spraying from the very top and narrow edge with the light light turquoise There is one problem with highlighting anything with white, especially with using a brush because when you're highlighting something just using the white, you can lose some of the color you had before. So it makes uh, the model a little bit dull when you do it uh, on the larger surface. So when you're using the white or almost white, you want to go just at one point not on the whole model so it's it requires a lot more control over the paint and in the end it's the best to just do it with regular brush with regular brush you definitely can get the best contrast but, but of course it's time consuming so I'm just aiming at doing the right amount at the right point.
And now it's the time to add some of my personal ideas to the original color scheme. So I wanted to make the blue fade into the violet and red a little bit at the very ends. And so I started with some mix of a little bit orange color and I just make the shadows with it and it was very good call because uh, the model started to look exactly at, as I wanted so I knew I was very close to the effect I want to achieve at the end I also wanted to make the shadows more violet closer to the end of the each cloud so I used plain violet to make the shadows more colorful when they were full black I will repeat the step with black uh, later but it would still leave some of the violet on the very end of each, each cloud At this point the black layer was really necessary because I want to amplify the effect of these storm clouds and create even more contrast between the white highlights and the black shadows so it was the really necessary step at the very end. The last step wasn't probably very necessary but I just couldn't leave it as it was and I want to get as much co contrast as I could and I probably should use the plain white to do it but I wanted to be a little bit safe with keeping the blue color I had and I decided to mix the white with uh, turquoise so yeah it probably wasn't necessary but i think it add a little bit to the contrast at the end And now it's the final step of this part of the video which is very long and quite tedious and probably not as interesting as the airbrushing 
but I wanted to make it at the end to show you the difference between the armor and the clouds which I think it's very important to understand the next steps that we have ahead of us and also I just wanted to start the next video with something more interesting than just doing the base layer and the armor will be painted in the some of the non-metallic metal style so I need to start very dark that's why I just mixed, mixed the reddish brown with the black and I could probably go with a little bit different kind of um, brown color for the base layer like the medium brown something that it's more yellow than red but I thought um, it will combine better with the orange color that I did at the shadows on the clouds so that's why I started, started with red brown instead of yellow brown mm, and there is not much to explain about the paint job because I'm just doing the base layer which should be even and as thin as possible just to make the future work easier for, for me. That's why the uh, footage is speed up quite a lot so just to keep the boring stuff out of the way I want to use some of the time I have to explain why I decide to create full video of painting model from the very beginning to very end instead of writing article and there are a few reasons why I decide to experiment with it first I just want to explore different kinds of content and hopefully you will tell which is better and I will just stick to the the way of showing stuff that is more effective for you and for me. But the second reason is the experience I have with the painters I employ in my studio, because they told me that I'm that I'm much better in showing things that I have in my hands than explaining in theory what they should do so I thought if they they say it it's probably will be the same thing for you so I want to compare if it's easier for you to understand when I show it on the video then I done then writing an article of course the video is will be much longer that's why I divided in it in few parts then just the reading short article but I think it explains a lot of the things in the detail and you probably don't even need everything from the videos so you can just focus on one small thing and, and it will be shown in very closer detail than just a few pictures in the article so I hope it will help you much more than just the article itself but it's only my guess so I hope I will get some critique from you and we will hopefully get to the point where everything is exactly as you want it
I knew some part will break when painting this model. It's too damn fragile. And I decided to just glue it at the very end and fix that because the clouds are almost already painted. So it will probably be wiser to fix the model at the end before I will have the chance to break it more, few more times. And that's it, that's everything for today. You can have the very basic idea how the model look at the end. And I see you in the part two of the painting Storm Night. Let me know what you think about it. And if you want anything different, just tell me all on the Patreon page or just email me. And I see you next time, cheers.